Book 3 Part 1 CH 13. Book 3 Part 1 Chapter 13. Translated by C. A. F. Rhys Davids. Dharma Sangani Enumeration of Internal Phenomenon. Book. The Division Entitled. Elimination. Part. Chapter 13. The Group on the Corruptions. Kalesa Gokchakam. Which are the states that have the attribute of corruption? The ten bases of corruption, to wit. Lust. Perplexity. Hate. Stolidity. Dullness. Excitement. Conceit. Unconscientiousness. Speculative opinion. Disregard of blame. In this connection. What is lust? Hate. Dullness. Conceit. Speculative opinion. Perplexity. Stolidity. Excitement. Answers. What is unconscientiousness? The absence of any feeling of conscientious scruple when scruples ought to be felt. The absence of conscientious scruple at attaining to bad and evil states. What is disregard of blame? The absence of any sense of guilt where a sense of guilt ought to be felt. The absence of a sense of guilt at attaining to bad and evil states. These are the states which have the attribute of corruption. Which are the states that have not the attribute of corruption? All other states whatever, good, bad and indeterminate, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or to the life that is unincluded. In other words, the four skandhas, all form also and uncompounded element. Which are the states that are baneful, co-intoxicant states, good, bad and indeterminate, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, of form or of the formless. In other words, the five skandhas. Harmless. The paths that are the unincluded, and the fruits of the paths, and uncompounded element. A which are the states that are corrupt. The three roots of bad. To wit, lust, hate, dullness, as well as the corruptions united with them, the four skandhas associated with them, and the action, bodily, vocal and mental, springing from them. Not corrupt. Good and indeterminate states, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, form, or the formless, or to the life that is unincluded. In other words, the four skandhas. All form also, an uncompounded element. Which are the states that are associated with the corruptions, disconnected with the corruptions, both corruptions and baneful, banevid but not themselves corruptions. Answers as in the corresponding pairs in the graspings. Which are the states that are both corruptions and corrupt, the corruptions themselves, corrupt but not themselves corruptions. The states which by those ten states are made corrupt, the ten themselves accepted. In other words, the four skandhas. Which are the states that are both corruptions and associated with corruptions? Lust. Hate. Conceit. Speculative. Opinion. Perplexity. Stolidity. Excitement. Unconscientiousness. And disregard of blame taken severally in conjunction with dullness, and dullness in conjunction with each of them. Lust, also, in conjunction with excitement, and conversely, and so for the remaining eight bases. Lust, also, in conjunction with unconscientiousness, and conversely, and so for the remaining eight. Lust, also, in conjunction with disregard of blame, and conversely, and so for the remaining eight associated with corruptions but not themselves corruptions, disconnected with ills but baneful, disconnected with ills and harmless. Answers to these three questions as in former groups. C, etc. Footnotes. Dot. On the term Kalesa the Sai is silent. It is true that the word lies as near to the Buddhist believer as, Essen to the Christian. As a rule, However, Buddhahosa is too Socratic to accept familiar terms without examination. 
In this case he has confined his attention to the derivatives. Incidentally. However, in discussing the meaning of good, he makes spiritual health to consist in the absence of kalesa disease, showing that kalesa was coextensive with evil or the absence of moral good. Of the derivatives, only sankilata is made to convey the idea of impurity or foulness, bad butter being so termed. Elsewhere it is paraphrased as, possessed of sankalesso, while sankalesa is defined in close agreement with the description of sanklika in Bothel. And wrath. The meaning is to trouble, to torment, while the corresponding adjective is described as, deserving sankalesa by persistently making self the object of one's thoughts. The term being an equivalent for those things which are the conditions of sankalesa. Corruption or impurity is, however, I believe, approximately what this group of terms represents to modern Buddhists. Nor have I been able to select an English word adequate to render them in what seems to have been their first intention, viz. Torment. Bases, or Vathuni are states so called because the corruptions dwell in the subject of them as immediate conditions. ASL. In the answer, Vupasamo in the text should be a Vupasamo. C. Apariyapana should, of course, be omitted from the printed text. This section is omitted, apparently inadvertently, in the printed text. C.F. The Matika. It is not very obvious, nor is any explanation volunteered by the Sai. Why just the third, th, th and th bases of corruption are selected as the constant of two factors in this connection? In the answer, supply ye dharma after tehi dharmehi. The first path witnesses the overcoming of speculative opinion and perplexity, the third path disposes of hate but it requires the fourth path to overcome the remaining seven. Dharma Sangani Book 3 Part 1 CH 14 Book 3 Part 1 Chapter 14 Translated by C. A. F. Rhys Davids Dharma Sangani Enumeration of Internal Phenomenon Book The Division Entitled Elimination Chapter 14 the supplementary set of pairs. Pithidakam. Which are the states that are to be put away by insight? The three fetters, to wit. Theory of individuity, perplexity and the contagion of mere rule and ritual. Dash dot. Identical with. Which are the states that are not to be put away by insight? All states whatever, good, bad and indeterminate, except the three or four mentioned, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or to the life that is unincluded. In other words, the four skandhas. All form also and uncompounded element. Which are the states that are? To he put Ive high cultivation. All the remaining lust, hate and dullness as well as the corruptions united with them, the four skandhas associated with them, and the action, bodily, vocal and mental, springing from them. Not to he put away high cultivation. Answer as for those states which are not to he put away high insight. Which are the states the causes of which are to be put away by insight? The three fetters, to wit. Theory of individuality, perplexity and the contagion of mere rule and ritual. Identical with. Which are the states the causes of which are not to be put away by insight? Answer as for those, states which are not to be put away by insight. Which are the states the causes of which are? To he put away by cultivation. All the remaining lust, hate and dullness. These are the causes that are to be put away by cultivation. And the corruptions united with them. The four skandhas associated with him, and the action, bodily, vocal and mental, springing from him, are the states the causes of which are to be put away by cultivation. Not to he put away high cultivation. And as for the, 
states which are not to be put away by cultivation. Which are the states wherein conception works? The four skandhas when associated with conception, which springs up in a soil wherein conception works, either in the worlds of sense or form, or in the life that is unincluded. Void of the working of conception. The four skandhas when springing up in a soil void of conception, either in the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or in the life that is unincluded. Conception itself also, and all form and uncompounded element. Wherein works thought discursive. Void of the working of thought discursive. Answers as in, respectively. Which are the states that are. Joyous. Not joyous. Accompanied by joy. Unaccompanied by joy. Accompanied by ease. Unaccompanied by ease. Answers to each pair of questions analogous to those in, joy, or, ease, being substituted in due order for, conception. Which are the states that are, accompanied by disinterestedness. The three skandhas of perception, syntheses and intellect, when associated with disinterestedness, which springs up in a soil congenial to it, either in the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or in the life that is unincluded. Unaccompanied by disinterestedness. The four skandhas when springing up in a soil uncongenial to disinterestedness, either in the worlds of sense or form, or in the life that is unincluded. Disinterestedness itself also, and all form and uncompounded element. Which are the states that relate to the universe of sense? Take from the waveless deep of woe beneath up to the heaven above of the Parinamitavasavati gods inclusive. Then whatever has there its range, and is therein included, whether it be skanda, element or sphere, form, feeling, perception, synthesis, intellect. These are states that relate to the universe of sense. Do not relate to the universe of sense. The universe of form that of the formless and the life that is unincluded. Relate to the universe of form. Take from the Brahma world below up to the heaven above of the Akhanata gods inclusive. Then whatever states, both of sense and intellect, have therein their range and are therein included. Whether they are states of one who has attained jhana having potential good, or of one in whom resultant jhana has arisen, or of one living happily under present conditions. Do not relate to the universe of form. The universe of sense, that of the formless and the life that is unincluded. Relate to the universe of the formless. Take from the entrance among the gods of, the sphere of infinite space, as the lower limit. And up to the entrance above among the gods of, the sphere where there is neither perception nor non-perception. Then whatever states, both of sense and intellect, have therein their range and are therein included. Whether they are states of one who has attained jhana having potential good, or of one in whom resultant jhana has arisen, or of one living happily under present conditions. These are states that relate to the universe of the formless. Do not relate to the universe of the formless. The universe of sense, that of form, and the life that is unincluded. Belong to the included. Co-intoxicant states, good, bad and indeterminate, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, of form or of the formless. In other words, the five skandhas. Belong to the unincluded. The paths, and the fruits of the paths, and uncompounded element. Which are the states by which? There is a going away. The four paths that are the unincluded. There is no going away. All states, good, bad and indeterminate, except those four, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or to the HFE that is unincluded. In other words, the four skandhas. All form also, and uncompounded element. Which are the states that are? fired in their consequences. The five acts that have immediate results, 
and those wrong views that are fixed in their consequences. The four paths also that are the unincluded, not fixed in their consequences. Answer as in, which are the states that have something beyond co-intoxicant states, good, bad and indeterminate, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, of form, or of the formless. In other words, the five skandhas. No, beyond. The four paths that are the unincluded, and the fruits of the paths, an uncompounded element. Which are the states that are concomitant with war? The three roots of bad. Lust, hate and dullness, and the corruptions united with them the four skandhas associated with them. The action, bodily, vocal and mental, springing from them. Not concomitant with war. Good, bad and indeterminate states, whether they relate to the worlds of sense, form or the formless, or to the life that is unincluded. In other words, the four skandhas. All form also, an uncompounded element. Footnotes. Dot. In the text, for Pahatabha Hetuka read Pahatabha Hetu. Cf this and following pairs with the text, Arapava care should be omitted, and Apariyapan substituted for Pariyapan. Sapitika. The term is used to qualify Sukkum. A. I. How far, if at all, its connotation is distinguishable from that of Piti Sahagata I cannot say. In the answers to the positive terms Arapava care should be omitted from the printed text. Apeka is a mode of Vedana or feeling, and is therefore not said to be associated with itself. In the printed text omit Arapava care. Kamavakara. The avakaras are discussed in my introduction. Kanda Datu Ayatana. I take this to be an adjectival DV and VA compound qualifying Dharma, but the five following terms, the skandhas, to be in apposition to Dharma. The three terms rendered by the last three periphrases are Samapanasa, Upanasa and Ditta Dharmasukavaharissa. The Sai explains them as referring to Kasala Janam, Vipaka Janam and Kariya Janam. The subject is further dealt with in my introduction. This is inadvertently omitted in the printed text. Nianika. In a secure. The word has been rendered, whereby there is a going forth and onward, the sire. Leaving it somewhat vaguely defined, and the context, both in that connection and this, showing that the expression imports rather the quest of the ideal than its attainment. Here the sai is briefer and more emphatic. The word is said to signify, they, cutting off the root of rebirth and making nirvana their object, go down from that round of transmigration. The good states included under the opposite category will be those static stages of attainment in the upward progress termed the fruits of the paths. Sa utara equals capable of transcending, of rejecting self. The term is applied to sitim in d. i. In the Anuttara Dharma this transcending has been accomplished. Sarana, an equivalent for those passions, etc. Overcome by which beings in divers ways incur weeping and misery. Equals together with fightings. Dullness associated with lust is co-warring with lust. Or, associated with hate, is co-warring with hate. One is reminded of the Christian parallel of fleshly lusts which war against the soul, and of ton edanon ton stratonomenon en toys melison wyman. Although the concomitance in assault is in this case not emphasized. In the Theragatha Subha turns the tables, wars a good warfare, by fighting against the sensual desires hostile to her progress.